Hi, and welcome to my Lone Wolf gameplay series for Going Medieval. I'm Icon, and we will build a thriving colony in this series. And, well, I want to uh, discover all the tech tree from this early access version. It's the release version, basically. And see if we can build something fancy, like maybe a castle, some fortifications. Try out what this early stage of the game can bring. And I went for a solo survivor start because I felt like, well, that would be an interesting thing to do. I'm going for difficult difficulty because I want to try out what changes that might bring. I don't dare to go to hard as of now because I didn't really play it this far down the road. But let's get started. We start out in the winter, so that's really bad. We have some food. We don't have many other things apart from that. So this might be actually pretty hard to survive. But let's do our best. We can get we get weapons, we get some food. Let's get started. So I'm going to start out in the hillsides because I like hillsides. It's a good mix of flat terrain and mountains to live in. Let's see. This one? Yeah, let's take this one. And let's roll our settler. I feel like I want somebody who's uh, well apt and well well able to fight. Because that seems to be, to me, a very, very important thing. Cannibal. Hmm. Thin-skinned, delicate, and nervy. Well, rather not. So I want somebody who's good at marksmanship and melee. What do I have here? Wash out. He hates rain. But apart from that, he's robust. Okay. Animal handling is pretty mediocre at construction. He's good at botany. Do we want to try that? We're going to try if this is going to be the story of Forthred. So let's go. So far, I found a lot of fun in this game, although it has a lot of difficulties due to its early access status, which come in form of bugs, but I was already expecting as much. So we are starting out with minus 11.5 degrees of cold, and my insulation is pretty horrible. So we're going to freeze out there. Let's see, equip the good linen cap. Let's hope that does something for the insulation. Minus nine. Okay, at least something. We're somewhat okay with the outside temperature here. We don't have many things which we can gather besides that. Let's see, there are mushrooms out there. That's good. But I need to... I need to get a shelter from the cold as quick as possible. Let's use one of these rock formations here. Because with these, I really don't need too many walls, I think, to get a little humble home going. Something really, really simple like that. Well, maybe that's a little bit too simple. But what I want to try is... Okay. I can't roof here. Why? Let's try it like that. What's wrong there? Oh, I guess we need to do it like this. So that will work. Awesome. I just decided, though, that I want to be a little bit uh, larger than that. Just a little bit. To have some room for things inside. So, let's put up a door. Just the basics for staying alive. Brazier. Sounds like a good choice to me. We will find some clay somewhere outside here, I'm pretty sure. If we're not? Seriously, the last few times I was playing, there was always some clay pile somewhere. 
Okay, good. Next thing we need is a sleeping spot. I'll put that here into the uh, niche. And then a campfire. Because obvious reasons. I think that should be all we go for at the beginning of the game. I want to equip Forthred with some things and allow the stuff. Well, we're going to equip the short bow first. And as far as I can see, I need way more wood than these 20 wood that I got. So let's prioritize the chopping and get going here. I got no clue how difficult it will be for him to survive this. So we're going to try this out. I know how this would play out in other games, but this is going to be a very exciting experience. We got some food. Seriously, not much food, but at least some food. Alrighty. We're going to drop a stockpile zone over here. was that? Definitely not what I was looking for. Here. Boom. And also this place needs a roof. I'm going to make it like that. I know that I ain't got the hay necessary for that, but for now the most important things are for me to get the construction done, so this is top priority, fourth word. Top priority, you hear me? Okay, hold down control, use the mouse wheel to change the height layers. Okay. Controls of this game feel a little bit finicky at this point, but it's, at the same time I do understand that the the perspective of, of this game requires some special treatment. Okay, now we have at least a campfire going. That's good. Pretty sure that we'll need way more wood than that though. So let's chop some oak tree. Oh, religious needs. Well, he's not uh, biased in any direction. I've never seen people like that before. Okay. Getting resources for construction, I see. Okay. But looks like he's not freezing to death right, uh, right away. That's good. It's really good. Kind of relieves me. Okay. We got fire! Awesome. Heat output 1800. Whatever that's supposed to mean. So, what's he doing now? Getting construction materials, okay. So luckily there's a couple of uh, mushrooms outside here which we can eat early on. If I find them, that is. Hey, there were mushrooms somewhere. Did they die? they die that quickly do well there's a wolf we're going to need to take down a wolf here early on I guess to stay alive fourth red is hungry now he's not hungry anymore so ivy shrubs so it looks like the mushrooms are withered now the ones I saw because there's not a single mushroom to be seen on the whole map now anymore. How mean. Like seriously. 
There's a deer. So that means we're also going to need some some butchering table quite soon. But we are at least able to sustain our uh, to uh, we're at least able to get ourselves a hut going. So let's cut that one. Okay. So day one, we at least get a roof over our heads done, I'd say. The food situation, though, is a little bit uh, brutal. I'm afraid of the wolf, but at the same time I feel like I need to try and take it down as quick as possible. So it's 13.7 degree inside and was really necessary because it's now minus 17 degree outside. Which is uh, very, very cold. Fourth word keeps working into the dead of the night, though. Okay, so we got that. I guess the only way of uh, staying myself, uh, keeping myself alive here is hunting. But I pretty much expected that when I start out in winter. Okay. There's two wolves now. This is uh, really, really concerning me. Maybe I should start thinking about a fortification in a larger scale. Because I don't know how Forthward is supposed to deal with two wolves. Okay. Let's see how we'll do that. But what I do know is that I'll need a butchering table. I'll put that one outside. I know that this is not the optimal placement for stuff like that, but, you know. <sighs> There's only one more meal available. And the wolves look hungry. So can we create Merlin? Okay, that sounds like a defensive structure wall. Well, okay, maybe not. I don't know. So what are we doing now? Just gathering that stuff to the stockpile. We're out of wood for this one, so let's cut the oak tree. We're going to produce meals as far as we can. And now today we're going to try and hunt something. At least I hope. Hooray, we did it. So what's out there which we can hunt safely? The deer sounded like a good idea. Just want to check if there's anything else out there. Okay, let's pause the game.
Except for these two wolves. I mean, maybe wolves aren't dangerous at all. Who knows? But I have a hard time thinking that they could be not dangerous. Wasn't there a deer? Ah, here. So, fourth rood. Prioritize hunting deer. Let's go, my man. Okay, it's a very, very lengthy way to get to the deer. How well is fourth root here? Well. Running away. Well. Come on. He missed. How's the deer's uh, condition? Research table missing. I really got other things to worry about now. Red current shrub. Yeah, well, wrong season. Oh my god. Now we hit one another time. This is looking good. Ah, he did it. Awesome. He's carrying this, uh... He's carrying it home. Nice. So, I want to declare a stockpile zone inside here, which is only for food. Let's hope that I can do that. Clear all food. So we're going to unassign food here. These stockpiles, they still need some priority, uh, priority commands. This is really so necessary. Alright, we're going to mine down a little bit of... Uh, the floor here and what do we own now we got raw meat so my man hold that stuff bones so we can do something with bones here too I see okay That didn't make him too happy. Desperately thirsty. Okay. He wants alcohol. It's not gonna happen anytime too soon, my man. So for now, we seem to be okay. Let's see, can I do walls out of other materials? Clay and limestone are also a thing. So wonderful. Because I feel like fortifying myself a little bit, you know. So. This takes way more resources than I can bring up right now, so probably not. These two dudes here make me really, really nervous, though. Now that I saw how reliable a ranged weapon can be. But we'll have to work around that somehow. So, fences, stick traps. Well, we could work with that. So I got myself some clay, but for now we got enough food to uh, survive from, I'd say, at least I hope. 
Right now, Forthrit is eating that stuff raw. But the next thing I'd really like to do would be, honestly, rather bring up a shack for my other stuff. So, he keeps eating ra rather low amounts of uh, the food. So, probably we don't need that much food after all for a while. Okay, here goes the hauling business. Perfect. So, I want to put some walls around this shack here. Get a door inside here. And let's see, can I just expand that roof? Yes, I can. Wonderful. Okay, so that works out somehow for us. Let's cut some more wood. And just hope that these wolves are not going to attack me anytime too soon. It's really friggin' scary. Not gonna lie. A lone wolf versus two wolves. That's unfair. That's certainly unfair. So how much hay do I got have? So not enough. Okay. Let's check out the uh, shelf time of that. Rots in two days. So really want to get that into the other room where it won't rot like that. Because it seems to me like I won't be consuming all the meat quick enough. I really do like that the, the building parts where you lack materials are shown red like this. This is very, very descriptive and gives you a good idea what you need to get. Okay. So where can we get some more hay? Okay. I want to steer away from these dudes. There's salt in the ground. Interesting. I had no clue that this stuff existed. Oh, there's another patch of tall grass there. Wonderful. So we'll just need some more wood. Oh, I already assigned two new trees. That's not necessary. The second day is getting uh, closer to an end. Let's hope I can get the job done before it's going to be night. Okay. So it seems like he's eating four of these per day, something like that. It's now hard snowing outside. Okay. Please chop that tree, my man. This is right now way more important. Okay, the raw meat is making him unhappy, I see. Settlers are becoming annoyed. If the mood drops to zero, they leave the colony. Yeah, I know. Okay, so, well, 
We survived yet another day. Tomorrow we're going to finish the uh, the second building there. And then we're going to have a room where we can store our meat, where it won't go bad, just with time. Still haven't uh, ruled out the wolf problem, but... This is rather scary, gotta gotta admit. I'm pretty sure I will uh, I will lose this fight if I just uh, stay like the, like that right now. So I really wonder how I'm going to take that. But for now, we're going to build ourselves a shack. do have the necessary wood for that. And then we got a minus four degree inside room. Wonderful. And let's deconstruct that. Haul that meat over here. And now it will rot a lot slower. Okay, that's done. And to celebrate the day, I wanted to say, prepare yourself some real food for it. You deserved. So, speaking about things we deserve, let's go into our into our tiny home here. And wooden table, small, please. So this one will fit into the corner here and we're going to build ourselves a little stool here do I have the necessary limestone yes I do so it's going to be a limestone stool and please 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 tell me that I did oh yes 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 awesome so here goes the research table afterwards because you know let's just pretend as if we were would be able to survive this okay roasted meat piles can we please haul that somewhere safe <laughs> okay deprived of religious activities deprived of entertainment well we can change that we're going to go for the the wood oak brethren or the oak brethren rather but this means we're going to need more and more wood i really wonder if the wolves will attack me on their own or if they wait until i attack one of them that's something i really don't know about this game as of yet but well, they haven't attacked me yet, so... No, fourth red, we don't need a stone stool there in the middle of nowhere. The cursor must have been drunk when he decided to do that. I'm going to forbid the stick piles at this point, because we don't need that many sticks. Look at that, fourth red. Eating a proper meal at a table. There you go. So we're now, well, probably surviving for two more days like that. 12 days per season, so I'll have to find a way to take down both wolves without dying. That will be the key to survival, I'd say. Because as I see it right now, we will survive from the deer I hunted a little bit longer. His food bar is full now, so he's going to probably eat one more meal today. What's he going? What's he doing right now? Oh, he roasted even more meat. I thought, oh, nice. Okay, so leisure activities. He's idle. My friend, you don't need to be idle. Here, 50 wood. 
That's why I felt like uh, picking somebody with a high botany skill would be really good. So with these 50 wood, we can finish some of these projects here. And keep forbidding the... these sticks here. I don't want to get too close to the wolves because I'm afraid that I might trigger them. It's 5 p.m. so we're going to chop down this thingy and then we're going to be able to do science quite soon. It's really nice. Settlers are suffering from cold. Yeah I know dude, I know. So let's see, it's not doing actively damage to him or something like that. But I really want to refill his religious uh, activities bar a little bit to give him some mood bonuses. Okay, so yeah, are you, are you done now? <laughs> Getting resources for construction. Don't you need to go to bed, my man? It's 10 p.m. No, he needs to build that table now. Alrighty, friends. So it's time to say goodbye for the first episode to come. Let's see what we'll do with those wolves outside next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Drop me your comments down below and leave me a thumbs up if you like that series. I really can't wait to continue here. And if you like that content, check out my channel. I do daily videos. So subscribe, turn on the notifications, and you won't miss anything in the future. Also, you will find in the link in the description below a my Twitch channel where I do daily streams as well. And beyond that, there's also ways and means for financial support for this video project, because I do free content and any tip or any helpful gesture is very, very welcome. But watching these videos is the biggest support of them all, and thank you so much for your time. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.